Let's start our verify on education claims with standardized test scores. Throughout his campaign, Little mentioned that Idaho leads every neighboring state in ACT scores. And on that, we can verify Little is correct. Idaho's average ACT score is higher than all six bordering states. According to official 2017 ACT data, Idaho students averaged a composite score of 22.3. That places Idaho 17th in the U.S. As Paulette Jordan noted, though, only 38% of graduates tested for the ACT in Idaho. My opponent is continuing to mislead a public when he's saying that we are having a higher success rate on the ACT scoring. The state of Idaho does not fund the ACT scoring. We fund SAT. More students take the SAT. We can verify that Jordan is correct. When it comes to Idaho funding the SAT test, they do that fully. Every spring, the state funds the SAT at every public high school. And in 2018, 100% of Idaho high school graduates took the SAT. That gives the SAT a better sample size than the ACT. And because of that, some argue this SAT better reflects student achievement in Idaho. And when it comes to scores, Idaho's average for the SAT was 1,001 in 2018, which comes in below the national average of 1068. Our current representative here has said to me that in the last few debates, debates that we have increased the rate of pay for these teachers. But how can you say that we're doing any better when we're still last in the country when it comes to teacher pay? We can verify Idaho is not last in teacher pay, but we are closer to the bottom. In 2017, Idaho came in at 43rd in teacher pay, which was up, though, from 47th in 2016. And we're still at less than 40% or 40th, 47th, 49th, 50th, and 51st when it comes in rankings in this country when it comes to education. Jordan didn't specifically mention what categories these claims were for, but here is where Idaho ranks in some important education categories. According to 2017 data from the National Education Association, Idaho ranks 51st in spending per student in fall enrollment. As we mentioned, they rank 43rd in average teacher pay, as well as 7th in students enrolled per teacher. Education Week's Quality Counts 2018 report has Idaho at 39th when it comes to high school graduation rates. That report also gave Idaho a D on its overall state report card, with a C-minus specifically in K-12 achievements.